just finished a session at TS2 with Aaron Cool and David Lutz, and they were talking about web optimization. They actually had given this session originally last year at Expo Expo, and one of the key comments that got me thinking is that the world has changed in the last few months, and I want you to talk to us about how that has changed regarding web optimization. So take yeah. it away. No, it has changed a lot. Um, but for one thing, if you're doing search engine optimization, then Google is really important. And they stated themselves that they made 450 changes to their algorithms back in 2007. And since our last session, that again has changed. And the concentration now has been on social media. You'll see a lot more social media results coming back in the search engines than you did then. So for an organizer, it's really important to participate and get into social media because by that you'll also be doing social, uh, search engine optimization as well. Okay. Yeah, it's it was funny. We, we actually had to change our slide deck quite a bit. Uh, we had, uh, I, I actually did a few searches to try to prove the point that, that social media does show up in the top 10 results. And uh, I typed in one term, I think it was Bike Expo. And I think we had several uh, returns from MySpace and YouTube. Uh, and then we did a few different other terms and we were getting Facebook results, uh, Twitter results, LinkedIn results, all on page one. So you really wanna find out, and, and blogs as well. Blogs is really important. If you've got a search term that might relate to your show and you've got somebody blogging about it, you wanna know who they are. You wanna be very, very friendly to them and maybe even fly them to your show, give them a free registration, get them to write about you, get them to link to you. But because search engine optimization really is, it's all about contents and it's all about links and, and links are votes. Yeah. So if you've got good, you know, well trafficked, respected sites linking to your site, it's it's a it's a tremendous vote that will really will help you get to page one or page two uh, for the terms. And, and when we say page one or page two, we don't mean type in your show name and get page one or page two. We want you know to, to uh, type in things that people might be looking for that pertain to your show to get those results. So there's a lot of ways yeah. to do that in social media as well. Uh, it's not just about getting to number one spots in Google. What you need to do is actually dominate the front page. And the way you do that is via different sources, be it YouTube, be it Twitter, be it Facebook, be it uh, Wikipedia. If all of these are talking about your show, you get all those at the top of the, the, the search engines and dominate that first page of results, then you're already doing your job. So one of the challenges I think that you're giving to the marketing department within a show organization is that these people should be, if they do, have not put their toes in the water of social media, they need to be finding out, number one, the influencers, i.e. the bloggers, is that correct? What else? Well, well, they need to read. They need to read what's going on online and they need to find out where their audience are online. If indeed they are, perhaps their audience actually isn't. But if they can find out what people are saying online and read it for a while, then just get ready before you jump in and say something silly or, or you know, the important thing is learn about social media. Really just, I mean, just type it into the search engine and watch videos and attend sessions like ours and, and find out about it. Because I, I feel sorry for the event marketer. Their job has changed a lot over the last five to 10 years and even over the last year, it's now, less of being a marketeer, rather a communications manager. It's, it's less about brochures, it's more about what your audience is saying online and making sure you're part of a positive conversation. Good. Yeah, Lori, it's a great point, because if you're part of the negative, it'll, you know, social media can really kill you if you're uh, part of the negative conversation. We've seen you know, a number of examples where, you know, where people you know, were complaining about a certain company and they didn't handle it directly or quickly and it ended up with uh, costing them a tremendous amount of money. So social media can work both ways. Yeah. Um, there's no question, but if you've got a good thing going, you've got people talking about it, and they can broadcast that out, it, it'll definitely help you. But some of the other big influencing channels on, on the social media side that can help you uh, are really your speakers. You know, If they've got their own blogs or they've got a big following on Facebook or Twitter or what have you, and your, your people are connected to them or they're in the industry or they have a lot of other people that maybe you know, think highly of them that wouldn't mind seeing them at your show. You, know, you really want to leverage some of those you know, key. Think about speakers being influenced.
influencers as well and try to get them to do more than just show up and do a session. Get them to talk about it before, get them to talk about it after, and, and really kind of leverage what their brand is to, to benefit your brand. Good. Yeah, yeah I, and exhibitors, uh, exhibitors can upload lots of content to your website. And don't restrict your exhibitors to just upload in a company description. Allow them to upload uh, brochures and product shots and white papers and case studies. Or if you're a consumer show, perhaps they can upload the special offers that are available on their stand. This all creates content which can be found on Google, which will help your website become, you know, dominate Google. Good, good. Thanks, gentlemen, so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Joyce.